Big Wheel coming at you from Plastic Rod Shop. Man, sent home from work today. Raining out, so I figure I'm going to do me some videos. Get the word out to you guys. I'm getting ready to do a kit review for you right now. On the kit I had sitting here, and I got on a hangout, and Chevy Cheeseburger seen that I had it, and he said, Hey, why don't you do a kit review for me? on that so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll have a video of my 53 Chevy here in a few minutes ready for you guys too so let me get at it alright guys we're back kit review 67 Chevelle Pro Street AMT 125 scale um, it's got 95 parts and let's get started we'll start off with the body it's molded in kind of like a vanilla white like not a real white but it's a kind of a vanilla color maybe I don't know um, it's got the super sport emblem it's got the like the insignia Chevrolet insignia it's got some pretty good it's not got much flash pretty good mold I mean slit streamlines um, 67 Chevelle was a decent looking car it was kind of a big car but um, it's got some mold lines just typical even on the Revell kit it's got that same mold line but um all in all it's a pretty good looking body just do some wet sand into it and prime it it look pretty good it's got the molded in headliner you can see that looks pretty good Got the sun visors molded in, which is pretty cool. You're not really going to see it, but it's still a good feature. Um, first sprue we got. Lots of detail for an AMT kit. It's got a lot of detail. The hood. It's got the um, molded in louvers. For SS hood. You can cut it out for the high rise intake that it's got with it just cut it out right there and it's got some pretty good detail on the hood on the inside you should paint that up real nice let's see got the firewall and eh, not much detail but once you put all the parts that go on in on there it'll look pretty cool it's got the blower motor and stuff that goes on there and then you got your um, inner and outer tie rod on the drag link for the steering with the spindles it's got the drive shaft which not too bad not too not too bad for detail um, lower control arms with pretty good little detail it's got a little bit of flash on it not much got your cool springs for the front so upper control arms a arms Got your core support radiator support here. Master cylinder, which comes in two pieces. One of the pieces fell off in the box. It's pretty good detail on that. You got your radiator, got the core support or the radiator shroud hooked to it. Um, water pump with the timing chain cover. You got your fan belt with the pulleys. Which looks a little warped, but that can be straightened out because it's kind of thin, anyways. Um, you got your sink, it's the radiator overflow bottle. Uh, you got the starter. Looks like it's got a little bit of detail on the starter, which is not bad. Battery, lower radiator hose, distributor, got the engine transmission block the engine block and the transmission which is a five speed or a four speed 
Um, it's got a fuel pump molded into this engine block. Um, we got the uh, oil pan. It's got the oil, oil filter molded in. It's got the bolt heads, which is cool. Um, and then the heads have some de pretty good detail. If you can see, they got the rocker arms molded into them. Which, all in all, a decent looking, it'll be a nice looking engine with a little bit of detail. I mean, they didn't go overboard. It's AMT for you, though. Which, not bad at all, though. I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm really digging this kit. It's going to be a nice looking kit. Um... We've got the wheel hubs. Door panel. One of the door panels fell off in the kit here. Um, door panels, not much detail on them. A little bit. It's, you know, I think they're kind of going with like a aluminum made door panels. Custom door panels. You've got your steering wheel. Nothing special there. You can paint it up to make it look good. Um... Got your headers, which it's got the I'm um, probably silencers for the street to drive it on the street. Headers are pretty decent, decent looking headers. Got the seats. Like I said, this kit don't have much um, flash. It's got the seats. It's got the seat belts, the the four point harness in it. On them, molded into them. You can need detail painted up, and you they'll be pretty cool. It's got a full roll cage, which is nice. I really like that part. And then you got your rear end. It's got a parachute. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, now we got the floor pan, which is the interior tub also. It's all in one. Carpet's molded in. It's got some in injector pin marks, which you won't see them once you put the seats and stuff in. And the um, but and then you got this part for the the engine, not not the engine, but the for the interior mold, which it's got this sh like aluminum type. You could paint it aluminum. It would probably be cool aluminum, actually. It's got the Chevrolet insignia. The bow tie uh, molded in right there. You see? I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, you can see it. It's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I like that feature. Um, then here's the snorkel hood scoop that you can put on it. Which... You know, the older hot rods, they had these. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we got here. Got the dash, which fell off in the box, too. Um, pretty good little detail. Radio, you know. It's got the clutch, the gas pedal, and the brake pedal molded all on there, which is pretty cool. It's not separate. So, and this actually doesn't say what skill level it is. This is a this is actually the I've been told it's a repop. I didn't know that AMT made the Pro Street. So, yeah. Get to the chrome, which there's your front grill and the bumper molded together. And this must be, because I'm not opening the chrome up, I don't want to scratch it or anything. This is the rear bumper and tail part. Valve covers, pretty decent chrome. You got your wheels. I like those wheels, I think they're pretty cool. Um, Alternator, chrome alternator with the bracket. You got the shifter. It's got a chrome fan. There's the louvers for the hood. Um, now it comes with the one carburetor with the big breather. Um, 
but I don't see the actual single intake, single plan in intake. Now we got a high rise dual carburetor intake right here and dual four barrels over here with two separate types of breathers. Um, Willie bars. It's got the chrome springs, cool springs, and then you got you a tachometer. Um, yeah, that's about it on that. On the chrome, you got the rear view mirror. <clears throat> but like I said, it's got the the one carburetor, you know. Now, another neat thing about this kit, it comes with two sets of rear tires, which you got the the street legal tires, and you got the race slicks, which has got the Goodyear and white on them, which they're a rubber. They're really, really nice, soft rubber, which I like. So you got that, which is pretty cool. Two sets of tires that you can choose from, which, you know, you got your front tires, which are decent the skinny tires decent skinny tires and we got the clear and then you got some red for the tail lights which is cool I like to have that I don't like to paint them on um, headlights front glass rear glass I didn't want to take it out of there because I don't want them scratched up Um, we got the decal sheet. We got some nice license plates. We got Washington license plates, Arizona license plates, Massachusetts license plate, Georgia, Michigan, and California license plates. Then you got your tachometers over here, your speedometer, um, two different gauges, which I think I'd use photo etch gauges in this anyways, but um, it's got the pinstripes. That's about all I got for decals, which, you know, you can use pinstripes on just about anything. It's got your typical AMT um, instructions. They're like, it folds out to one big sheet. And it's not too bad. It's pretty good instructions. It tells you where everything goes and pretty much just typical AMT, you know, instruction sheets, which is not bad. They're not bad at all, honestly, in all honesty. So, there you go. There's my kit review. The first one I've ever done. I mean... I don't know, maybe I'll do more and try to get better at it or, you know. But all in all, a decent little kit for the money. Um, I like it. So, there you go, Chevy Cheeseburger. I did a kit review for you on this AMT 67 Chevelle Pro Street. Maybe that'll help you out. It's not a bad kit. An all in all, a real decent kit. I am I think I'll enjoy either kit bashing it, which is that's what I usually do anyways, or putting it together. You know, I might build one. You never know. Depends on how I feel. And I like to put the big tires on the back of cars anyways, so... There you go, guys. My first kit review and on the request of Chevy Cheeseburger. And I guess that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for subscribing. And this is Big Wheel coming at you from the Plastic Rod Shop. Y'all take it easy. I'll talk to you later.